In biology, scientists are interested in understanding cellular division in a range of different contexts. A major question that researchers are interested in asking is how do stem cells, a specialized type of cell, replenish and regenerate tissue? Planarians are flatworms that are renowned for their ability to regenerate, and they are frequently used as a model organism to study regeneration. Dave Forstoffel, a scientist at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, uses planarians to visualize the regeneration of cells through a common research technique known as fluorescent labeling. I specifically study how these stem cells differentiate into intestinal cells. And the way we do that is we are able to label the stem cells in planarians by feeding them a chemical called bromodeoxyuridine. Bromodeoxyuridine, also called BIRDU or BRDU, has a very similar structure to thymidine, one of the four base pairs in DNA. We mix the bromodeoxyuridine with pureed beef liver, which is what we feed planarians in the lab. And when they eat this mix of liver and bromodeoxyuridine, and the nutrients are distributed throughout the animal by the intestine, the BRDU reaches the stem cells and enters the nucleus. And then when the stem cells divide, the bromodeoxyuridine is incorporated along with thymidine and other bases as the DNA is replicated. We detect the labeled cells by first fixing the animals in a fixative such as formaldehyde or methanol or other fixatives that we use in the lab. And then we incubate the animals with an antibody that specifically binds BRDU. Antibodies are large Y-shaped proteins that bind to specific targets. They are created naturally by the immune systems of animals, including humans. Scientific researchers create specific antibodies by injecting an animal with a compound that they want to detect, such as BRDU. The animal's immune system naturally produces antibodies that target the compound, and these antibodies can be isolated from the blood and used in the laboratory. Then we use what's called a secondary antibody that binds to the first antibody, and this antibody is coupled to a fluorescent dye, and we usually use a green fluorescent dye, and then that allows us to see the cells that have taken up BRDU as bright green dots when we look at the samples on a fluorescent microscope. Using these methods, scientists can begin to understand the underlying mechanisms of stem cell function, someday creating technologies that will benefit humans. Researchers are currently working to investigate how human conditions, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, as well as brain and spinal cord injuries, could one day be cured using stem cells.